Kaiser Phoenix here. This is part seven of my blind walkthrough through the Pokemon White games. Now, in part six, I just defeated the sixth gym leader. Now, for the, between the fifth and the sixth gym, there's so much that you go and do. There's actually not all that long a trek to get to the seventh city and the seventh gym leader. In fact, you don't even have to go through any silly adventures with them before you fight them. You just get there and you can fight them. You go through silly adventures afterwards, but that's another video. So, I go past the Celestial Tower, I actually go to Twist Mountain, which I know uh, I know one person had some troubles with Twist Mountain. It's got a lot of ice Pokemon, but I knew that there was an ice gym, because, again, it says so in the manual. And, well, I had Pokemon picked out accordingly. Ice Pokemon have a lot of weaknesses, including fire and steel and fighting and all sorts of stuff. So I had my fighting Pokemon. I was, I, ooh, I don't know if I was using Timber or Throw. I may have been using both. And Darmanitan. Actually, I don't think it was a Darmanitan then. I think it was a Darumaka that I was training up. And once it turned into Darmanitan, it was definitely good to take out some Ice Pokemon. It was nice. And, of course, my Darmanitan, well... Now, I was going in this blind, and I noticed on, when Darmanitan evolved that it had a different form when I checked my Pokedex, this Zen form. And I recognized it as the statues are in the desert, but I just could not figure out how to turn him into a Zen form. Like, I had never fought it, but I could not figure out how to turn mine into, into its little psychic fire statue thing. I don't know, it just... I couldn't figure it out. I, I took it to the desert and I looked at the statues and I don't know. I don't know what was up. Those are my chief Pokemon for going against the ice the ice gym leader. But I got through Twist Mountain fairly okay. Before I got there, I actually had to fight Charon and we battled. He wasn't too big of an issue. And then Alder, the gym, the, excuse me, the league champion, hops off of a freaking cliff and gives a surf. And I'm like, finally, surf. I mean, there's not too many things to surf around in this game, but I did want to check out that one route. So after I got surf, I actually, actually sort of went back and I checked out the long route after the, after the openings, after your hometown. There wasn't anything too interesting there. I did notice there was a guy giving out an egg, which... I only had six. I had six Pokemon at the time. You had to have five to pick up the egg, so I just didn't. I was like, eh, screw it. I'll. I don't really care that much. I, just, eh. I mean, I know now it's a cool Pokemon, but it wouldn't really have helped me out for a very long time anyway. I think I may have gotten Thunderbolt when I surfed down there. Some there was some cool move I got that I definitely used. I'm pretty sure it was Thunderbolt, which I'm so glad TMs can be used multiple times now. Of course, I taught my Galvantula that thing immediately. Yeah, Thunderbolt is a great thing to have. Also with Surf, I actually went into Mr. Alton Cave because I knew that you can get an an, uh, an Axu there. I mean. I know it's a dragon Pokemon. I had fought one before, so I could tell it was there, and it used dragon fangs. I'm like, yep, this must be the dragon Pokemon. I figure it's the Dratini of the game, because why not? So I went and picked one, picked one of those up, and man, it has high attack, even in its basic form. Obviously, I wouldn't be training it then to fight the Ice Gym, but maybe I'd try training it later. I get to the Ice Gym, and I think... I was, I think at that point I was using the Steel Pokemon, Clink. I don't remember if I evolved into Clang then. I might have. Fighting Pokemon, Timber, which I still hadn't evolved. I mean, at that point, I was, at that point, I was very suspicious about both Timber and Baldor. I was pretty damn sure they both had to be traded to be evolved. I mean, basically one of them is the new Machamp, and one of them is, the, or excuse me, one of them is a new Machoke, one of them is a new Graveler, so I figured that if you traded them, they would evolve. And guess what? I was right. Ha. Not ha the viewers, ha the Pokemon company. Whatever. Basically, Bryson had a bunch of ice Pokemon, which I had been fighting all the way up 
to through Twist or through Twist Mountain. Some of those Pokemon included Cub Chew, which I probably would have used used instead of that stupid vanilla cone thing, but it had a giant snot bubble hanging out of its nose. I don't know why Ice Pokemon have to look stupid, but I caught it. I didn't really use it. I mean, icing and ice wasn't that useful for me. But I'm not sure why I didn't bring it to the Dragon Gym. I don't know. I think I, I saw... Was that after? Let me have been after. So not too many new Pokemon. Though I think at a certain point I did see things like Shelmet, which I noticed had a connection to Carablast for some reason. Things like Stun Stunfisk, which I think I saw in the moor outside the ice... Uh, outside the ice city. Things like that. So, not too many new Pokemon. I destroyed the ice guys. I just, I, I screwed them up, man. I had a Darmanitan, and it was at pretty damn high level, thanks to Lucky Egg and all that stuff. I think he must have been 40 by the time he got to the end, and that was higher than all his Pokemon. I just, one, two, three, dead. Fire versus ice. Fire wins. Sound like the old games where it was ice water and the water would kick the fire guy's ass. So I, at that point, I was glad I didn't have to do any stupid adventure with the ice guy with the ice guy before fighting him because it was starting to get repetitive. I, was, I think I even mentioned in an earlier video. I was like, yeah, I bet I have to do some stupid little. You know, I bet I have to get to know the guy before I fight him. But this guy was actually really quiet. I don't think he really said anything. And later on, you go fight fight random crap with him, but. Yeah, pretty ho hum part of, part of the story. Now, from the seventh to eighth gym, there's kind of a lot going on, and I'll tell you more about that in the next video. Until then, good luck catching Pokemon.